Good morning, guys. I'm here with Lore. You've met her before. We've done a few travel diaries before in Italy, like Pisa, Luca, Tuscany. And today we are doing a travel diary from Canada. We are in the Muskoka region of Canada at Lauren's family cottage for the weekend, for the long weekend. This is Labor Day weekend. And we've had a lot of fun nature experience that we are going to share with you guys. And first I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Ducktail Raincoats. Ducktail Raincoats is an extraordinary rainwear brand defined by its quality, functionality, and modern style. Their mission is to protect people from the rain in style. And as a Canadian who loves to travel, you bet I'm going to get some solid use out of this. My favorite part about the Ducktail Raincoats is that it actually repels water so well and it's just overall very high quality and vegan of course, which is a total bonus. Ducktail raincoats will make you stand out with exceptional details and unique color combinations. Now the one that I chose personally is the unisex city raincoat in the light yellow color because I feel like light yellow is just that classic raincoat color that I always think of and it reminds me of sunshine on all of those rainy days. Both the hood and the signature ducktail on the bottom of the coat are removable and this coat actually fits so easily into a purse or a backpack, making it excellent for travel. There's tons of colors and styles to choose from. Be sure to use the code ZOE10 at checkout for a special discount for you. This is definitely the perfect coat for back to school, especially for all of us Canadians. So yeah, don't forget there is a special discount for you guys if you would like a raincoat of your own. But for now, Laura and I are actually just basking in the sun. We're lucky we journaling. got incredible, yeah. We're journaling, we're <laughs> lucky we got incredible weather to sit out here and enjoy it this morning. So yeah, we're gonna continue journaling and hanging out and then we'll take you for some adventures in the afternoon, show you more of the scenes from Canada. Okay guys, this is Gordy. How cute. How cute are you, huh? Gordy is 10 months old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and very playful, as you can see. <gasps> Good morning, sweetie. You are just the cutest, huh? You like the camera, hey? You, and you like the lake. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. How pretty. How pretty, I love the color that he is. It's like a golden retriever, but also mixed with some red color. And he loves the boats and seeing people cruise by, hey? Yeah, yeah, you're a social one. And so cuddly. <laughs> so cuddly and playful. Okay guys, so as you know, Laura and I have been super obsessed with Dr. Joe lately, uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza. He has some incredible content all over YouTube. His books are fantastic, but I'm currently reading Becoming Supernatural and I wanted to share this really cool experiment that's in the book like that he talks about. So when baby chicks are born, they imprint on their mothers. So the first thing that they see that's like a moving object they actually imprint on is their mom and that's why they follow the mom around. So part of this experiment that Dr. Joe talks about in this book, not one that he conducted, but it's just as an example in this book about the power of intentions, is that when the baby chicks were born in this experiment, they were actually imprinted on a robot. So this robot that would randomly move around this arena so I'm gonna show you here. This first image here is the robot randomly going all over the arena and the baby chicks are following the robot. And then for the second experiment, the baby chicks were put into a cage on this side of the arena and the robot only stayed on this side because the power of the intention of the baby chicks using basically law of attraction kept the robot onto this side of the arena only because all the chicks were here of course, thinking, mom, 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 come to us, come to us. And so the robot never went to this side of the arena. Pretty cool, hey? That's on page 74. If you guys have this book or if you get this book, I just thought it was a super cool experiment. Yeah, of Renee Piach. That's who did this experiment. 
What do you think, Lore? Intentions are so powerful. It is so crazy that I just need to remind myself. I feel like every day I should start with like at least 20 minutes of Dr. Joe. Yeah. To, oh, I didn't ask. <laughs> You're feeling me. Oh. But it's true. Like, if we started every day with five minutes of just reminding ourselves of like how real it is, like thoughts become things. That's it. That's it. That's life. We can create In our reality lives. Reality. Yeah. With our thoughts. Chef Lauren has created these bagel sandwiches for us. So it has these fake chicken wings with barbecue sauce. We have pickles, tomato, red onion. I put pepper, some Dijon. It's gonna be incredible. Lunch with a view. Mm -hmm. Canada has an extremely large number of lakes, with the number of lakes larger than three square kilometers being estimated at close to 31,752 by the Atlas of Canada. Of these, 561 lakes have a surface area larger than 100 kilometers squared, including four of the Great Lakes. Almost 9% of Canada's total area is covered by fresh water. The Muskoka Lakes, or just Lake Muskoka, is a broader name for the region comprising Lakes Muskoka, Rousseau, and Joseph, among many smaller ones. Originally rich in lumber production and shipbuilding, the area is now the heart of cottage country, a popular place for families to enjoy the water and for many to retire. Canada has about 20% of the planet's freshwater resources, sits astride the largest freshwater body of water in the world, the Great Lakes and has so many power dams along its mighty rivers that when us Canadians actually talk about electricity, we often just call it hydro. 